Her identity has remained a mystery for more than 50 years. Who was this woman found dead in Lake Erie back in the 1960s and what happened to her? It is a cold case out of Cleveland that hasn't gotten much attention until now. Investigator Sarah Goldenberg continuing our series on identifying. There aren't many details available about this Jane Doe. We're profiling her case in hopes that someone out there may recognize her or remember hearing stories from family members of a loved one who went missing in Cleveland around this time. Five months after the Cuyahoga River caught fire in Cleveland in 1969, illuminating the downtown skyline and the city struggle with water pollution. A woman's body turned up not too far away by the 9th Street Pier. That November, a water department crew with the city cleaning a sewer nearby found her caught in pilings. A photo of this woman we're calling Lake Erie Jane Doe has been altered by investigators for recognition purposes. They determined she hadn't been in the water long, maybe just days. Here's what we know about this Jane Doe. She was white, 35 to 45 years old. 5'5 five, five and 201 pounds. She had short black hair and brown eyes and a small scar on the right side of her lower abdomen. She was wearing an aqua dress and jewelry when she died, including a ring on her left hand ring finger, revealing she may have been married. How she died and the loved ones she left behind remain a mystery more than five decades later. I get to use art to create images of people and hopefully bring them home to their, their loved ones. Um. Samantha Molnar is a criminal intelligence analyst and forensic artist with Ohio BCI. She works on facial reconstruction models and 3D photos for John and Jane Doe's across the state. Her mission is to bring these families answers. I see the pain that these families go through every year that passes and their loved one still hasn't come home. And for me to get the opportunity to work with these local agencies, work with fantastic investigators and also these families and help bring their loved one home um, even if they are we are bringing them home deceased at least they know and they aren't spending the rest of their days wondering what happened we checked namus the national missing and unidentified person system and found 25 missing persons have been checked for a match to this jane doe and excluded watch for our next unidentified case next friday Sarah Goldenberg, 19 News. And if you know who this woman was, call the Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner's Office, the number right there on the bottom of your screen.